Yo, what's going on guys? It's Aurora Modding here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install XP Guards Stealth Server. As you can see, I've already got the Stealth Server installed, but I'm going to show you on how to install it um, if you're new to installing this Stealth Server. So basically, what we're going to do is we're going to head on to our computer. So we're going to head to our computer screen. And basically, once we're on our computer screen, we want to download the file from their website which we can go to their website which is xbl.app or xbguard.live once we're here we want to go to the very top of the page and we want to right click and click open lewd links once we've done that it will download the folder once we've downloaded the folder we can then head to our downloads tab and we will get it like this now I've already extracted it and you'll get two folders one called HDD and one called USB once we've done that we want to go and find our Xbox 360 neighborhood which is here open up Xbox 360 neighborhood and if we've already connected to our console before which is if we haven't we just click and we click add Xbox 360 and we type in our IP address which is this <coughs> once we've done this we can click next and we can click which and um, we click no for that and we click finish now once we've done that our Xbox will appear here now we can double click on it and now we're going to get a hard drive folder click on retail hard drive emulation and we want to click on stealth servers in a folder like this you can make these folders xp guard hdd copy these three and click yes to all once they have been replaced and you're and they're on there we can then go back to our console Once we're on our console, we can then go to My Games <coughs> and we can launch XEX Menu 1.2. Now, once you've done, once you have done this, you want to head over to uh, you want to press RB on your controller and head over to Homebrew Apps, click Dash Launch and Default.exe. Once we've done that, we want to go to Plugins and you have to put them in list order. So first one's going to be Stealth Server, second one's going to be XBDM, and then this third one's going to be JRPC2, and then you can put whatever other plugins you want. Once we have added these, so we'll click here, we'll click here. So basically, if you don't know where to go, so you come back onto your main hard drive, and then we go to Stealth Servers, XB Guard, XB Guard. Once you've done that, you want to press RB on your controller again, head over to the Save and Load page. Uh, press X to save it and A to load it. Once you've done that, you can then press circle and come out. Then your console will reboot. Once your console is reboot, you should be able to see this screen. And then you basically, you're now officially on XB Guard Stealth Server. And then you can head over to XB Guard and you can do KV information check. I've been on here for nine days. And you can change, mess around with, uh, you can manage XP Guard, you can do the UI share. UI share is basically a way you can like customize the way your screen looks. So Starburst, we got it like this, this is a pretty cool one. You basically have it looking like this, and then the home button looks like this. But if you want like plain and simple, you can do UI sharing again and you can like change it to which one you want. So let's see if we can find the most coolest looking one. Here, rain. Cool. It's got 420 Xbox One. You can pick like any of these to be honest. Like orange V3. There we go. Nice orange looking one for you if you want it. So yeah, I hope this video helps you guys on how to install XP Guard Stealth Server. If you need any more support, drop a like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.